crankcase every day because you collect oil in the bottom and uh, if you let too much oil get in you take the chance of the engine run away. I don't know how much we're going to run today so I'm just going to put five gallons in to start with. Okay we're going to open the compression releases one on each cylinder that's so we can rotate the engine and then we have deflector spoons up above that I have to turn to the start position Now we can rotate the engine. One. One. Now I'm gonna prime it, so I can put fuel in the hopper. Okay, the hopper's full of fuel. Check the injectors for uh, air in it. So we're doing number one first, which is the flywheel in. Okay, this one needs to be primed. I'm going to uh, turn the oiler and uh, oil the first cylinder about 30 times. Okay, we can rotate it. Check this one for prime. This one's good. Two shots. Two shots. bearing's got its own reservoir and we have to uh, pre-oil them before we start it. So it takes about a good cup full of oil on each one and there's three of them. Let's start the little guy. Now I'll see if it's Sucking water up. Yep. Now we just have to wait until the cylinders fill up. It takes about four or five minutes to fill up the cylinders and uh, stabilize the water coming out. Okay, we prepped the engine, so we're just kind of going to review what we have done. Prime, boom, oil, uh, 
well as the uh, compression releases. Up on two, water, fuel. Ready to light, okay. Yep, okay. Now we're going to light the burner.
Arizona Early Day Gas Engine Tractor Association 2014. I'm Paul Klusman. And I'm Gary Kruger.